Hello, this is Bird, and welcome to your Great Life TV. And if you've ever wondered what are certain things you do that make a guy shut down and close emotionally faster than a freaking Ferrari, well, you're in luck because that's what you and I will be sharing today. Hello, this is Bird, and welcome to your Great Life TV. Come today, it's another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and today we're going to be discussing things that women do that make men close down and shut down emotionally and want to run for the freaking hills. First one is talking down to your man. Here's what I mean. You get upset, he did something stupid, he did something that made you feel really bad or unappreciated, and instead of addressing it and being vulnerable and courageous saying, this is the way I'm feeling and that was a shitty thing to do, you snap at him and you throw this dart comment to his heart with the full intention of making him get really upset or or challenging him in some way. Now, here's a problem with that. Most guys react in a way that's very masculine when they're being challenged, which means waking up that part of you that's your lizard brain and want to challenge that person back. Whether it's a man or woman, it doesn't matter. So when you each feel challenged, you want to do the actual opposite of what your woman needs at that moment. If she wants you to acknowledge her, you want to avoid acknowledging her because you're feeling challenged. So, very, very important. If you want your guy to respond in a way that's cool, long term, instead of being sarcastic and throwing like little comments attempted to create a mental explosion in him, address them with the truth and see the reaction in him, okay? Uh, second thing that's why well, this is a challenge is because if a guy is the kind of guy that's not really in his masculine, he's simply going to shut down. He's going to hold on to the anger, hold on to feeling, oh my god, I'm feeling miserable, she's talking down at me, enough times to quickly eventually be out completely of a relationship without even telling you. That, that's the kind of guy that one day, supposedly everything's fine, the next day you never talk, you never see him again because he's felt so castrated that he actually has to do something to regain back his manhood, okay? Number two way that men feel shut down and want to run for the heels is when you keep on bringing the past even though he's making changes in the present. Let's say that he did something bad or he did something stupid or he did something that was not what you expected and you communicate that with him and he's making an effort to change it and instead of acknowledging the effort that he's doing right now you keep bringing the past again and again because you're afraid that he's going to go back into that mode you keep bringing it back again and again and again to the point where he's not feeling any sort of appreciation or even acknowledgement for the things he's doing right he's going to stop doing it so very important if you ever want your guy to change his behavior aside from acknowledging the fact, is if he's changing it, stop bringing the past consistently because otherwise that's what he's going to focus into. Third way in which women communicate things uh, to men that make us want to run for the heels is when you have an explosion and don't give him a context of why it's an explosion. Here's what I mean. Undoubtedly, sometimes you'll have an explosion. You're a woman, you're supposed to. <laughs> that's the rule, that's how it works sometimes. Men have explosions too, by the way. But when you have an explosion and the guy seems to think that it's about something freaking trivial like the toothpaste cap or like a uh, stupid text message he sent, but you're really tracking a bunch of stacked emotions that have nothing to do with that situation, but that's just like the tip of the, uh, the iceberg, you know? Uh, then it's a challenge because he, he tends to think you're crazy. So here's the solution to that. Number one, express your truth and the pain you feel as it's happening, do not wait to stack up 25 freaking things until you actually explode one day. Bring it up as it's along, as it's going along. And if you're one of those women who feel like, if I bring it up, he's gonna feel like he may leave. If he needs to leave, that's cool. The door's wide open. But the opposite, like waiting until something massive happens and you have this outburst, it's not a cool thing for you. Uh, the other thing that, that's the solution for this is when you explode, if you inevitably do explode, let him know that it's not just about this thing. Let him know exactly what it's about so that he doesn't get a chance to A, avoid your pain because he thinks it's so an overreaction. It may not be an overreaction to a bunch of things, it is to that one single thing. So if you let him know, hey, I'm, this, it seems like an overreaction, look at this and this and this and this and this, that's why I'm overreacting right now because it's about all those times where you've done this and I'm really tired and I'm really sick and, I'm, and I really want you to help me this way. If you voice it that way, you'll be 20 times closer to him not feeling like, oh my God, the world's ending and she's gone crazy, okay? Hope this is helpful for you. If this is helpful to you, I know that something that would be incredibly beneficial for you is to sign up to my newsletter where you get a chance to receive a five-part video series called How to Let Go of a Guy That's Bad for You and Connect to an Amazing One Instead. Super powerful new video series that I have going on. I think you'll really enjoy it. If you're watching me on YouTube, 
please click like on the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and sign up to my newsletter when you get a chance to receive stuff that I don't even share here in, face in, in YouTube or in, in Facebook, okay? Thank you so much for connecting with me, and I challenge you as always to live a full and a conscious life.